How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace and today we are reacting to Janis Joplin's Me and Bobby McGee. So from what I understand, this was released, I, I don't know how to pronounce the word, but after she passed away, posthumously, is that how you pronounce it? But after she passed away, it was released and it did very well from what I was looking at. I also noticed that this is a cover done by Roger Miller in 1969. And it's been covered quite a few times from what I saw. Hopefully I saw that right. But yeah, so this is a cover and I guess this is like the definitive version is what I was reading. I, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong about any of this, please let me know. But that's kind of what I'm going with, at least for this reaction. I, other than that, I don't know much about it because I've never heard it. And, and I'm ready to check this out. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool, it's free. Tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi, hello. Ho. If you're interested in doing a priority request, you can check out the buy me a coffee link as well. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Janice Joplin, me and Bobby McGee. Here we go. Busted flat in Ben Rouge, waiting for a train. On us feeling near as faded as my jeans Bobby thumbed a diesel down Just before it rained And rode us all the way into New Orleans I pulled my harpoon Out of my dirty red bandana I was playing soft while Bobby sang the blues Windshield wiper slapping time we sang every song that Java knew Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing, I mean nothing, honey, if it ain't free So, I, from what I can hear, at least, it, 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 I, I'm, I'm guessing it's a country song, like, an, an originally, because I feel like it has that country twang to it, but it also has, like, that 60s, like, early 70s feel to it as well, like, the, 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 the Beatles feel to it, the, the Rolling Stones, like, that era of, of rock, it has that feel to it as well. So it's like it's like a kind of a a mix or not a mix up but a mashup of country and, and and 60s rock is kind of how I'm like interpreting it. And cuz the only other two songs that I've heard Janis Joplin do were both live. It it was Ball and Chain and then Peace of My Heart. And like both of those were live and both of those like she had this like insane energy like she had this like very loud voice in it and this one's like so much calmer it, it I, I i feel like out of the three songs i've heard this is definitely on top so i see why like people like definitely like this song people suggested this song i, I definitely like this one i definitely like this one more than ball and chain but compared to peace of my heart i mean it, it's it's two completely different like energies basically and I, I'm, I'm i'm vibing with this i'm i'm liking it 
And I, I like all the, the picture art that they're doing for this music video as well. Like this is, for, I, I grabbed this off Janis Joplin's actual YouTube channel. So this is like an a, a official music video for the song. I don't know if it was you know made back then or if it was made more recent, that I don't really know. But I, I do like seeing all the photos of Janis Joplin in this and everything's like just pictures and everything, like moving pictures and everything, I like it. And I'm, I'm feeling it. So let's go ahead and continue, here we go. Wow, like they, there was one picture for a few seconds where she was sitting on an oven, like it, like those like old like '60s style ovens and everything. Those look so cool, like compared to what we have now. Like some of them look all right, but there's there's some stuff from the '60s that looks so much better than the stuff now. It really does. It, it'd be cool if they made that style uh, uh, the way like stuff looked back then. Now you know, just have that look to it. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, that was that was a really cool song. And like the energy that she has in Peace of My Heart, like you can definitely hear that at least in the later part of this song too. So it started off like kind of kind of more chill, kind of more calm. And then at the end, it gets a little more, a little more energetic, right? So you kind of get the best of both worlds in, in that regard. But yeah, I, I really like this one. I, I like how they did all the pictures and everything. That was really cool. So yeah, I I, I, I could say I like that one. I, I enjoyed it. But yeah, that was Janis Joplin's Me and Bobby McGee. If you have any other requests, don't forget to drop in the comments below. I'd love to check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. Tells me I'm doing the right thing or in the right direction. All those good things. Don't forget to check the description of the video as well. Uh, lots of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can check those out and go say hello. Hi. <laughs> The release schedule, I always drop a couple days early on the socials. If you want to see what's coming out the following week, that would be the best way to do that. If you're interested in doing a priority request, don't forget to check out the Buy Me A Coffee link as well. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there, and I believe that's it for this reaction. I'll check you out in the next one. Bye, guys.